Bronny should stay in college. Because if it's about Bronny, right now he is not up there to be no top pick, which means his name is not going to be called. The likelihood of your son being able to be what you were is not likely. The bottom line to all of this, right now he is not an NBA level player. LeBron James once ruled the league as the top pick, but now the narrative changes as we turn our attention to his heir, Bronny James. When we get to Bronny James, that kid has done nothing. The kid has done nothing but work hard, try to get on his game and all of this other stuff. Any attention that he's warranted has been because of his daddy. I want to play with my son. Mm -hmm. I want to stay here until my son gets to the NBA. Bronny's journey to the NBA is anything but ordinary. With the weight of a legacy on his shoulders, Bronny's path is filled with questions and speculation. But what do the players, the stars of the game, think about the heir to the throne? It's no secret that being LeBron James' son comes with its own set of challenges and expectations. NBA veteran Patrick Beverly recently weighed in on the matter, shedding light on the immense pressure young Bronny faces. Beverly didn't hold back, stating, I've never seen anything like this. But it comes with being LeBron James' son. It has nothing to do with play, and we can sit here all day and say, let the kid be a kid, but he is literally royalty. So obviously, they're going to go mock draft this, mock draft that, and that's what just comes with this limelight. This is what his father built. So if anyone can handle it, he can handle it. Shout out to Bronny, man. This statement comes after LeBron James recently took to social media. He fired shots at the scouts and media for downplaying his son in the draft. ESPN dropped their latest mock draft for the NBA, and Bronny made headlines. After his sophomore year at USC, they got him sitting at number 39 overall. Naturally, this sent shockwaves across the basketball universe. People were out there speculating like crazy. Is Bronny staying in college longer? Is he planning something big? But LeBron ain't having none of that noise. In a series of tweets, LeBron shut down the haters and the speculators. He wrote, Can y'all please just let the kid be a kid and enjoy college basketball? The work and results will ultimately do the talking no matter what he decides to do. If y'all don't know, he doesn't care what a mock draft says. He just works. Earned, not given. The other one read, And to all the other kids out there striving to be great, just keep your head down, blinders on, and keep grinding. These mock drafts don't matter one bit. I promise you, only the work matters. Let's talk real basketball, people. LeBron has taken down his tweets, but his role in the media buzz about his son goes deeper than just giving him his name. LeBron has been pretty vocal about his dream to share the NBA court with Bronny one day. After a tough loss to the Grizzlies, he even mentioned that Bronny could play for us right now, easy. Now, let's keep it real. This level of attention is part and parcel of being in the James family spotlight. Despite LeBron's pleas to let Bronny be a kid, the truth is that Bronny's no longer just a kid. With his spot as a major NBA prospect in the weight of his famous name, attention is inevitable. The speculation might seem overblown. This is especially true since the initial mock draft didn't mention Bronny's plans or what teams think of him. But when you're a college player of Bronny's caliber and fame, the spotlight's going to find you no matter what your pop says. ESPN's NBA draft analyst Jonathan Giovanni shed light on why Bronny James was removed from this year's list of professional prospects. Speaking on NBA Today, Giovanni emphasized Bronny's game and his comeback from a challenging period, stating, I love Bronny James's game still. We have to remember that this kid missed four months with a heart issue starting in July. It really seemed to have derailed the season. Bronny playing the right way takes away from what's inside of him. Mm. Right? And I think that's, that's what's holding him back, that he plays the right way. Mm -hmm. right? What do you mean by that? He follows rules. He, he don't want to jaywalk. Yeah. Like he going to go to the light, take the left, yeah. take the left, right, right to get right. to the other side versus just... And when it's time to just say, man, fuck the rest of these players, I'm, I, I got to go put the... He going to still believe in his teammates. Yeah, yeah. When sometimes you can't. LeBron James faced criticism following Bronny's exclusion from the mock draft, notably from ESPN commentator Stephen A. Smith. Smith directly pointed fingers at LeBron, attributing all the hype to him. Stephen A. said, This is all his fault. All of it. When we get to Bronny James, that kid has done nothing but work hard and try to get on this game and all this other stuff. Any attention that he's warranted has been because of his daddy. Regarding LeBron's emotional response to Bronny's mock draft removal, Smith remained critical. You're going to tweet about folks needing to leave your son alone? You did that. LeBron is entirely and completely culpable for any kind of critique coming in Bronny's direction. 
I'm just saying own it. It's you. It's not the media. Ever since he chose to walk in his father's footsteps, the world had its eyes fixed on him. The recent draft board shuffle raised some doubts, no denying that. As we eye Bronny's uncertain NBA future, entering the 2024 draft might be a pivotal move. The preseason heart hiccup provides a solid excuse, a legitimate reason for a rocky freshman year. Teams could give him the benefit of the doubt, seeing USC as a less-than-ideal situation even before he hit the court. The narrative might be that he's just a freshman and his struggles might be dismissed as a small sample. But here's the catch. If Bronny decides on a sophomore comeback, those excuses vanish. Double-digit scoring averages and improved three-point shooting. That's the bar he's got to clear. Stepping into a leadership role as an upperclassman, he'll carry more weight for his team's record. And rumors are swirling that USC head coach Andy Enfield might be on the chopping block this offseason. If that happens, a new coach will step in and he won't be the one who recruited Bronny to USC. This change could shake things up for a young baller. College ball is the traditional route, but it isn't the only one. Look at Matas Buzelis and Ron Holland, top dogs in Bronny's grade. They skipped college for the G League Ignite. LaMelo Ball went global, turning into a top-tier prospect overseas. The G League has paved the way for many grinding their way to NBA opportunities. Sure, Bronny's got the LeBron card in his pocket, opening doors others might struggle to reach. But the NBA isn't handed out. You have to have the game, and Bronny's got it if he lands in the right spot. College was never the end game for Bronny. It was more like a pit stop, a stepping stone. With LeBron shouting from the mountaintops about wanting to share an NBA court with his son, Bronny's draft entry was always a headline waiting to happen. Let's be real. LeBron is Bronny's golden ticket to the pros right now. At age 39, he is out there having one heck of a season, and he's got a player option with the Lakers after this year. The hope is that some team is going to roll the dice on Bronny, hoping to bag the ultimate package deal, the James duo. The Pressure Look, it's cool for LeBron to shower love on his kids' basketball dreams, but it heaps some unnecessary pressure on Bronny. LeBron wants to be the hoops version of Ken Griffey Sr. playing with Ken Griffey Jr. The burning question is, does Bronny share that same dream? Now, Bronny's got decisions to make. After this season wraps, Bronny's got choices on the table. He could stay at USC for round two, or transfer, take a gap year to prep for the 2025 draft, or throw his hat in the ring for the 2024 draft this June and hustle for a roster spot. Every path's got its risks, but going pro now might just be the smart move. Sure, his stats don't scream one-and-done material, but declaring for the draft? That's the ticket to the big leagues. Whether he gets picked or not, he'll have his shot at making a roster. Shannon Sharp, the three-time Super Bowl champion, had some advice for LeBron on celebrating his son Bronny's achievements. Speaking on the Nightcap podcast, Sharp urged LeBron to dial back the praise for his eldest son. This is because of the intense scrutiny that comes with it. Sharp dropped some wisdom saying, God won't double bless you. He wasn't going to give you all that talent and also give it to your son. The comparison was going to be there, but LeBron has to be careful. When Bronny plays well and you say he's better than some in the NBA because people are going to remember you said that. I understand that's his son, but you've to be careful of that. You could have said that LeBron as a high school senior was as good as some players in the NBA, but because Bronny doesn't possess his dad's athleticism or his size, it's different. He's going to catch strays because of you. Sharp's advice to LeBron James brings up an important question. Is LeBron being too involved in Bronny's journey to the NBA? Sharp's point was that Bronny should earn recognition through his efforts and dedication. He shouldn't rely only on excessive attention or influence. However, LeBron's reaction to ESPN's decision to remove Bronny from their 2024 mock draft and predict him as a second-round pick in 2025 highlighted how personal it was for him, precisely the concern Sharp raised. LeBron's emotional response suggests a deep investment in Bronny's basketball career and a desire to see him succeed. Yet it also underscores the delicate balance between supporting his son and potentially adding undue pressure by publicly championing his abilities. LeBron must balance guiding Bronny to the NBA with letting his son create his own journey. It must be free from too much scrutiny and expectations. Bronny's success should be defined by his merits and hard work. It should not be defined only by his father's influence or public endorsements. And speaking of Bronny, don't forget to hit play on the following video where we compare Bronny James and a 7'1 future number one NBA draft pick, Alexander Saar.